Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the Amazon FBA calculator for Canadians. So I myself am Canadian. I'm located in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And before we even get started, I'm going to have some videos pop up on the screen. These are other resources for you guys. Feel free to check them out. There are other Amazon videos that I've created on various topics. So let's get started all right so to get to the amazon fba calculator you want to head over to our description i'll have the link there it's kind of a long link and uh, i'll just paste it there so it's easy for you guys to get to so head over there copy it or click on it from there and you'll end up at this page right here it's a pretty blank page when you get to it you'll see like a blank white area and a disclaimer here. You might be wondering, this is a calculator? It is. You wanna enter a product so that you can actually start using the calculator. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. I have one right here. So this is a Power Rangers helmet that I got in store, and I'm going to find out if this item is going to be profitable for me. So if I grabbed, if I purchased this item, is this going to be uh, profitable based off of the Amazon FBA calculator? So before we get started, it says here in this area that you want to enter a product name, UPC, EAN, and a bunch of other stuff I don't really know. Um, basically, you want to grab that info from Amazon. So you want to head over to Amazon.ca if you're selling on Amazon in Canada. And I found the Power Rangers helmet right here. So this is the actual product that I want to sell. So I'm going to scroll into the product details and grab the ASIN number. You can also type in the name of this product, but I prefer to grab the ASIN because then it'll be the exact one, just in case there's another one that's similar. So you wanna click search, and that's the one, that's the same picture. All right, so when you enter that in, you're gonna see a bunch of other stuff pop up here. Now, you don't wanna worry about your fulfillment because we're talking about Amazon FBA, so you only need to worry about the Amazon fulfillment uh, uh, column. So before we get started, we're going to go back to that page. Now this is the item that I want to calculate. And I've sold this item before, so that's why I'm using it as a live example. So this item right here is $58.54, and this person who's selling has uh, $7.50 shipping. I personally have sold this item for $59.99 a couple of times, two or three times. So I'm going to enter the price that I want to sell it at in this box here. So $59.99. And you can play around with this. You can, you know, enter in this number or enter in 54, whatever you want. That's for you to play with. So I'm going to enter $59.99. And then I'm going to click calculate. All right, so the number that you want to be paying attention to is this right here, this green number 4509. That is going to be your profit, but just wait, because you might be getting really excited by seeing that number. You want to minus a couple of things from that number. So I've got my calculator here. So I'm going to take that 4509 and I'm going to minus $5.99 because that's what I paid for it in store. Then I'm going to minus, let's say, uh, three, let's say $4 shipping on that item per item. Usually when I send in a box of items, I'll try to fit in as many items as I can in the box. And then I'll take the total of what it costs at Canada Post and I'll divide that by the items in there. So just make it a little easier for you guys. I'm just going to clear the calculator. So let's say that the shipping was $25 for the box, right, to ship to Mississauga, Ontario. And I've got 10 items in the box, okay? The shipping per item is going to be $2.50. 
So I'm going to, you know, let's say let's let's go on the higher end and let's say the shipping was really expensive. So we'll go back to the 4509 minus the 599 and we'll minus $4 on the shipping per item. That's pretty expensive for that one item. Um, that means I probably didn't have very many items in the box. So I'm gonna click enter and $35.10 Canadian would be my profit um, minusing the uh, cost of the actual product and the shipping. So that's the the profit that I would make if I were to sell it at $59.99. Now, um, here's what it would look like if you were to sell this item and you would be at a loss. So let's pretend that that's $9.99 and we'll press the calculate button. Oh, it says here you're still at a profit. So let's just go even lower. Let's go $5.99. Let's just pretend. So let's say that you're selling for this item uh, $5.99. If you see a minus sign here, that's not good. Even though it's still green, minus means that you're not going to be making any money. So don't think that just because it's green, you're still going to make money. Um, if you've got that minus sign there, you're not going to be making money. So I'll put that other nine back in there, $59.99. And you see there, $45.09, no minus sign. That's gonna be your profit. But before you go ahead, you wanna make sure uh, to get this item for less than, than this price. So even if, uh, let's say, I was in stores and this, this the item in stores was $9.99 minus that $4 shipping. I'd still be in the profit, you know. Um, if the item was twenty dollars, let's say if the item was twenty dollars minus twenty dollars minus the four dollar shipping, I'd still be in the profit. So this is really useful to help you out when you know what item you're going to be getting, and you can compare the prices so that when you get in store you can actually see, okay, am I going to be profitable with this item? All right, so that's how you use the Amazon FBA calculator for Canada. I usually use this uh, online calculator when I'm doing shopping online. So I don't usually use it when I'm in store. When I'm, when I'm in a store, let's say Walmart, I'm going to be using the Amazon seller app on my phone. I'm going to be scanning because it's basically going to do the same thing. So I don't particularly use this while I'm physically in a store. I will use the scanning app. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Amazon scanning app, um, head over to the description below because one of those videos is talking about how to use the scanning app and I have my top 10 tips um, of things to do when you're scanning. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below and be sure to check out those other videos because they're very helpful for you guys if you are selling in Amazon in Canada. So if you like these types of videos, head over to the description below because every Monday I do a video like this, whether it be teaching um, Amazon tips and tricks, eBay, uh, Fiverr, Udemy, anything like that. Uh, basically ways that we make money online. Every Monday I do a tutorial like this. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.